Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about power and different power options you get with the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera. So let's jump right into it. So first thing, you can see my desk is just a clutter of mess. But right away, what you get out of the box is you get an LPE6 off-brand battery. I have no clue what brand of battery this is but it is an LPE6 battery that comes with the Blackmagic camera. So you can power the camera through the back. I do have a, a battery on there. I would tell you guys right away, stack up, buy some of these LPE6 batteries. If you guys do buy the Blackmagic Video Assistant, it comes with these batteries as well and it uses these batteries. I came from a Canon line of cameras Again, I call this the flagship camera battery from Canon. It works in the 7D, 7D Mark II, 5D, 5D Mark II, 5D Mark III. The, I'm sure it will come in the 5D Mark IV when that comes out. It is their battery that has been around forever. I trust them, they're pretty awesome. So I would suggest that you guys get a few of these. The other thing is I would get some battery wall chargers just to have. The only way to actually charge the battery, if this is your first LPE6 battery that comes with the camera, is you have to use their wall charger here. So this is your standard uh, AC wall charger, comes with your DC outlet here. Now, this is to plug into the camera and charge the battery. You can also power the camera with this, but I do have to let you guys know there's no port for this on the actual camera. So how you end up powering this is you have to use this expansion cable, which is full of wires galore. Um, so here's the expansion cable. There's all the wiring. There's one wire on here. They're all labeled, which is really nice. Power in 12 volts right here. So the nice thing about the Blackmagic cameras is they all use 12 volts, whether you use uh, the Pocket Cinema camera, the Micro, the Studio, everything is 12 volts, which is really nice. So you basically plug into the wall, <laughs> take your DC, plug it into your expansion cables, your expansion cable to your expansion port, and then you can turn the camera on. Um, I'll just turn it on for you guys right now. Obviously, I don't have it plugged in, so the power is coming from the battery. But when you do plug it in, it will start to power the. It will start to charge the battery. It will also use it as its main power for the camera. So let's just shut this off. So those are the two options that you get. You can either use just the battery that it comes with to power it. To charge it, you need to plug it into a wall. Or if you're gonna be stationary for a long time in one spot, you could just plug it into the wall and charge it. I will let you guys know right away, this cord that they do give you for the outlet wall charger is not very long at all. It's very short, I don't like it at all. I will probably never use this just because I have so many Canon batteries and chargers. So you can go out for about 15, 20 bucks, buy the actual Canon uh, chargers here for the LPE6 batteries, or you can go out and get like a third party brand. These are Wabasa battery packs or chargers. They plug right into the wall here. Um, same thing, same concept, plug, plug and charge. So that is that. I will tell you guys right away too, battery life on here. I did some testing over the week and I got about an hour and 40 minutes on one single battery. So here's my results. I'll move this up to the camera. So I got an hour, 42 minutes and 16 seconds from 99% tell 0% when the camera shut off. Those are my results. Now this is using a Canon OEM LPE6 battery. So these are the original Canon batteries. That's my result. If you look up here at the top, um, I got 50 minutes and 59 seconds. So essentially an hour at 50%. So the camera was at 50% battery life at an hour. Just want to show you guys this. I've done this test so many times and it's been roughly around the same area. So these are my results. So pretty impressive 
battery life with LPE6 batteries way better than using those uh, Nikon batteries that were on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, which was terrible. They get about 20 minutes of battery life, which was awful. So now that we've discussed this, stack up on Canon LPE6 batteries, maybe get some wall chargers so you don't have to charge it through the, the camera and wait and wait and wait. Plus, you don't always wanna be using the electronics of your camera anyways. Moving on, RAV power, power bricks. I'm talking about third-party power bricks here. Um, there's so many of them. These power bricks started booming when cell phones or I guess the iPhone started getting really big in the US because the iPhone unfortunately doesn't last all day long when people are using it regularly. So people were buying these right here, power bricks where they can plug USB 2.0 or 3.0 into their iPhones and have it charge when they're not using it or, or whatever. So you can also use these for pretty much any electronic that you can plug into. So I will put the video, or I guess I will put the URL link of this specific battery pack that I'm using below. Um, the nice thing about this RAV power is I got the big one here. You can get smaller ones so they're, they're a better form factor, but I just got the biggest one at the time I could get. So 2300 milliamp, um, it's gonna last forever. It takes about four hours to charge the first time fully. It lasts, honestly, about two or three weeks. That's very impressive, and that's with me using it quite a bit as well. Um, they should stay good for about five or 600 charges is what they're rated for, so that's a, it's a lot. You're gonna have this for a long time. I have multiple packs of these. I just leave them in my bag in case I actually need them. Um, and then you get two USB uh, ports at the top here, and then you also get a DC outlet the other one uh, poured up here is just used for charging the actual device. Other thing, um, 9, 12, 14, I don't know, not basically nine volts to 25 or 30 volts is what you can set inside here. There's an LCD screen. You push a few times, you can change your voltage. Blackmagic cinema cameras all use 12 volts. Like I said before, they work really nice. The cool thing about the RAV power, what I have here is it comes with all these ports that you guys can see here. There's a port for everything and anything. The only ports that are not included, which are becoming more popular, they do not come with the Apple Lightning Bolt port, which powers all the new iPhones, iPads. It also does not come with USB 3.0 or USB-C, I should say, the C port that just came out because it's so new. It does come with the older port, so if you do have like old iPhones with the, I think it's 21 pins, yes, you do have that. Comes with these two wires right here, which are really nice. They're USB to basically just female ends right here. Uh, the female ends, then you can plug in all these different ports too, which is really nice. The one port or the one cable that we're looking for that it comes with right here is basically DC to DC. It's a very small cable, but it's very nice. This is the one that we wanna use to power our actual camera. So how this essentially works, same thing as the wall charger, except our, our wall charger is now this portable device. We plug in one end here, now, I will let you guys know that I don't know what this port exactly is or the size of it. I'll find that out, post it in the link below, but it's basically DC to a, a smaller DC uh, adapter right there. It comes with the battery pack, so it will work. You don't have to go hunt for it anywhere else. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna take uh, this port here and we're gonna plug it into the expansion cable and then we're gonna take the expansion cable and we're gonna plug this right into the camera here. And you will notice right away that the camera starts up, it powers up, it's taking the power from this power brick right here and it's powering the unit itself. I will tell you, 
It is very weird that the camera turns on and stays on the entire time when you plug it in through the wall or third party. Basically, if you plug it in through the expansion, the camera will turn on and it will stay on the entire time. So if you're gonna try to charge a battery, just know that the camera will stay on with the indicator light at the top. If you want to just charge a battery and not have the camera on and not have the fan going, you're gonna have to hold the power button and actually shut the camera off. I don't know why by default the camera is on and stays on when it gets powered through the expansion port. I just don't know why that happens. Anyways, here is the coolest thing about the third party power brick that I'm using and the expansion port. So what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna unplug, I'm not gonna keep unplugging the expansion port, but here's the power right here. I'm unplugging the power from the power brick and I'm just gonna let it hang there. Um, actually, I'll just, I'll unplug it. I just won't screw it in. Um, so, let me just get my wires here. We'll plug that in. So, here's the expansion cord. Camera has no power, no battery, nothing plugged into it at all. I'm gonna, I have a dead Canon battery here, which I'm gonna plug in. Okay, and then we're gonna turn the camera on. Uh, camera's on standby mode. It's gonna flick to green because it's gonna write to card. And it's blinking yellow. So at 20% on the Micro Studio camera, when you hit 20% of battery life left, it will start to blink yellow, indicating that your battery is about to die, which is a really nice indicator. So this battery is about to die. So what we can do is we can essentially plug in our third power power or third power supply. Losing my words here. I can plug this expansion port in with third power right here. And now what it's doing is it's powering the camera as its main source. It's also charging the battery in the back. Now here's the awesome part. I'm gonna hit record and the camera is recording. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually unplug some of the power for this and we're not going to miss a single frame of recording. So it's gonna start to blink yellow because that battery is almost dead, like I said, but I'm, I'm powering just with the battery. Red still means it's recording, I'm not missing a frame. Let's just say I'm filming a wedding really long when the battery starts to die. What I could essentially do is I could just plug in this third power battery pack here. So there it is, plugged in, it's red. I haven't missed a single frame. And now what I can do is I can take this battery out here. You'll notice that there's no battery in the back. It's still red, I'm still recording. I still haven't missed a single frame. And now what I can do is I can find a battery pack that is full. Plug that in, still again, not miss a single frame. Unplug the power, there it is. Still recording, red, not blinking anymore because this is a full battery, but pretty nifty thing about cinema cameras is that when you make those adjustments, when you make changes to power, they don't stop, they don't need to hesitate and, and switch power. Um, it's really, really nice to have. Now, I would suggest again, if you're going to just power it using like a, a third party battery pack, like this RAV power that I have, don't, don't not put a, a battery in the back here. Always keep a battery in the back as a backup, which is gonna be really nice because if something were to happen to this cord, so if this was plugged in and somebody were to walk by or something, or if this gets disconnected anyway, you'll never miss a beat. Your camera won't shut off. It will always have a battery pack or a, a, a battery powering it the entire time, which is really, really nice. Now, the other thing I do have to say specifically just about this uh, power pack that I have right here, I can power multiple things at one time. So essentially, I could find a USB cable that will go to 
a field monitor or just a another USB cable that goes to a plug and then I could use a adapter like so plug that into there and then this can go into the field monitor and I can power my camera and my field monitor at the exact same time. I know we ran a little bit long with this video but I did want to show you guys the cool little features that can happen with this camera. You also can apply this method to other cameras using third party packs. However, the Black Magic line is the only camera I know where you can swap power uh, supplies and things like that with the camera staying on the entire time and recording. If you try to do something like this, usually cameras have to shut off and switch power and then turn back on. This one you don't have to do at all. I hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe. I will be making more in the future.